Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, once upon a time there was an elder couple that lived uh, about 600 years ago that uh, decided to build a castle uh, a long way in the woods and uh, they ba built it really uh, beautiful with a lot of glitter and uh, beautiful things and um, uh, they uh, lived their all their life and uh, they didn't have any children so uh, when they died uh, the castle was forgotten and uh, no one know about it uh, except of um, some uh, witches and uh, some uh, skeletons and uh, first uh, for about 513 years ago uh, the skeleton decided to move into the castle and make it as their home and they lived happy there um, very many years but then also some witches uh, found uh, the castle and uh, decided to move in and um, uh, they uh, like to uh, cook uh, soup on uh, bones from uh, skeletons so uh, <laughs> then uh, the skeletons was a bit afraid and uh, they had to be really careful but uh, they had a secret in their arms so uh, they would survive so I will tell you more about that later as we go in the album so this album is uh, made uh, as a um, table a display so it can be stand on the table as a decoration and also be put some photos inside and people can look at it and uh, before I show you more close-up of uh, the album I will uh, show you the papers I used. I uh, saw some uh, haul videos and <laughs> there are also some beautiful Halloween uh, papers that uh, is uh, from a recollection and uh, <laughs> that you only can get in the US. So I asked my friend Velma if he, she could uh, do some shopping for me and uh, right away she said yes. And it ended in the way, or it ended with, uh, uh, she gave me it all. So I'm uh, so thankful, uh, Valma, for all this uh, goodies. You're just too sweet. So thank you so much, Valma. I had so much fun creating with this beautiful papers. And I do have a lot left so I can create uh, more next year. So uh, what uh, she got from me was uh, this Midnight ma Magic and it's uh, most uh, a black and uh, purple uh, paper and also this Halloween uh, basic uh, paper for wet walls and also uh, this one and it's a uh, witch's dust and uh, there also was some 6x6 six six and uh, some stickers and uh, just show you this really quick so uh, this I used a lot of and uh, here are some stickers and I cut out some of them and uh, yeah and some of these uh, stickers and here is uh, a paper pad is six by four so uh, and she also sent me a lot of uh, embellishments so I do have used some of them but I have a lot left here so I really love this acetates here so yeah, and uh, some banners and the links and also a lot of uh, cutouts tags here that I used some of. So again, uh, thank you so much Velma, I'm so grateful and thankful, you're just too sweet. So then I will show you the album. So here is uh, the front of the album. And I'm not sure how <laughs> I will manage to show you this all. So I was uh, thinking about uh, doing it freehanded or uh, we will try this way first and see how it works. And uh, this album is uh, inspired by Belinda Akers. She did a beautiful uh, castle al Halloween album. And uh, also by my friend Linda at Live Art Now. She also made a beautiful uh, Halloween l album last year so I will link to both videos below if you like to have a look 
I started uh, this with uh, drawing uh, some different shapes uh, of a castle and uh, build the pages build, uh, larger and larger and they are attached with the hinges on the side and I also made them double since it's uh, not chipboard only paper so it uh, would be a bit more sturdy and also uh, have some pockets uh, some of the on the sides and some more on the top so in the front here I have a skeleton on some bones uh, that I uh, cut out from uh, a die and I used a lot of uh, dies here in this album <laughs> and uh, the video will be, will be an hour if I should explain all the dies so I have taken some pictures and will post it on my blog and try to um, to um, uh, put the names of all the dice there so I will link below if there are some dice you wonder about so uh, this is uh, the door into the castle so it opens up like so and I created some shipboard that I layered and the larger on the top here and the outside of the door is um, crackle painted and it opens like so, so then you can enter into the castle. So inside here I just have some tags and uh, show you a bit here. So, like so. So you can do some journaling or put some photos or anything. And a little tag here and also a frame behind here. So it's an acetate frame. And a spider web on the top with a scarecrow. So this goes in the po pocket here, and this pocket I made um, out of a Martha Stewart uh, punch. So. so then some bling in the eyes of the skeletons here, and uh, some thread here with a spider that I cut out from the paper line. So some are cut out from the paper lines, and some are uh, dice. So. And here I have a cat glittered up and uh, I used um, some stickles. I can maybe show you the stickles I used. It was uh, this uh, candy cane and uh, black diamond and uh, purple. And I also used some silver and gun metals and some a few other colors here as well. So then we can open it up on the, this album can open from uh, each uh, side. So I can show you this side first. So here it opens like so and now I hope it's enough uh, light here. So and here I have a sign hanging on the yeah, side here from a die and uh, some tags behind here as well. And these uh, pockets here are from Martha Stewart and I just inked them up. So, and some from the paper, or the stickers from the paper line here. And also a spider whip behind. And uh, some more tags here, and this was a tag from the paper line, and I cut out uh, the witch. And uh, then I, I used uh, two of them, and then I paper pasted two of these uh, together to get a tag. So, and a fence border with some cats and so here. A, t a tree here that I have uh, crackle painted and the owl and a witch and a, here is a flag with a boo and a, I'm not sure you can see on the top here a scare scarecrow and also this um, a ghost on the side here so and then it flips out uh, this way here so here is a spider with a magnet and here is a mirror, so it's actually a real mirror. And this is uh, Tim Holtz. And also, like so, on the back with some bling and crackle paint. And um, yeah, and fasten it with this. I can also show you this with Tim Holtz uh, embossing folder. So uh, this uh, was Linda so kind enough to emboss for me. So I didn't have this uh, embossing folder, so she sent me some. So here I went over with uh, silver, Inca gold. So. And um, this flower here, I hope you can see it, maybe give you a close-up here. Maybe you can see it here. 
this I got from uh, Velma in the other uh, rack and uh, this was a sort of uh, dark burgundy or something and I took some stickers on here and here I used it as it is as it was and uh, here is the flower bling in the center also with some more stickles on so I think uh, this turned really beautiful out so thank you so much again Velma I'm hoarding <laughs> these uh, flowers and just use them now and then so I can have them so see if I can get my camera proper in place again thereabouts so and on the side here I have some tombstones with uh, some acetates behind so it flips out like so and now I may be not in frame hope you can see it so these are open on the top so you can stack a, a photo inside here if you like to but I just put uh, in some uh, the bones and so so it looks like so and uh, this is fastened with a magnet this flat here and another tag uh, that I took foil, uh, foil tape on and uh, embossed with an uh, embossing folder so in the house here with some of the threads behind here to create a sort of um, spider web look like so on the back so there are room for photos here and also on the back side here so uh, I want this to look a bit uh, fun on the table and also that it could uh, display some photos so and now for the next page here so we'll see if I can manage to fold it out so I stay in frame so here I have another tag so, the witch on and uh, another little one from the paper line. Just use uh, stickles for the lines here and a branch on top here. So, some witch's uh, shoes down here. And this I also cut out from the paper line. And here is uh, one of the witches I talked about I cut out from one of the tags. So, here is a tag behind and some stamping here. A spider web on the top and some uh, bats flying in the flat here. So, and uh, here is a section that I made only as a um, um, fence uh, pocket so it uh, can stand out. I show you more of that on the back side so I'll just pull out some of them here so you can see it. So here is a tomb stone again so this can open on the front so here is some more embossing folder that I got from my friend Linda and I did some stamping and colored it in so and inside here also some stamping so there are various uh, stamps most of them are from Tim Holtz so I hope it shows up like so on the back and uh, this fasten here with some magnets and I also have this light here it's uh, loose so it can be taken off so a candle a light holder and some uh, pumpkins here and these are dice and also this cat and this uh, pumpkins here are also dice so next page maybe I have to move this a bit so so here is a witch and uh, now I don't remember where this is uh, from, it's a sticker, so I will try to find it out. And uh, here is another embossing folder my friend Linda gave me, so thank you so much for that Linda. And here are some acetates, I can place a photo in the middle here, and another tag behind here. I just have to put them in so I know where they belong. So. And uh, this uh, witch here, I um, didn't have that uh, Tim Holtz uh, witch uh, die, so I tried to, to make my own. I had a smaller one from uh, Spellbinders, so I tried to draw after that and I made, made it a bit bigger. So this can flip out with a magnet and it holds a tag here. From the paper line so just uh, stickle it up and also another tag from the paper line behind here so you don't want to pull it out and a 
tombstone cross here and a cat here. I'm not sure how sure it shows up and the spider web here and the ghost on the top. And then now I see I forgot to pull out uh, the tags here and maybe show you uh, or maybe take it on the other side so I can pull out a bit here. So they are just plain. I just formed them after uh, the shape of the houses so this can be pulled off or up. <laughs> So, and here you maybe can see the lighting in uh, the acetate here. So, and here is a um, tomb stone, or uh, I'm not sure it's uh, the right name. So, uh, in the front here, I just uh, cut out some hands and glittered them up, and uh, I took this some pop dots. And uh, this is also from a die, and this is also from a die. And here I wrote in uh, Norwegian and <laughs> I tried to uh, translate uh, Beware. Uh, one time every year, 23rd of October, I uh, wake up and uh, I come and spook for you. So beware. And uh, he is helping all uh, the other, other skeletons. So uh, when the witches had uh, have them for a meal, he wake uh, them up again, so they become to live again. So uh, they will live forever. So and I also have some tags here, so some swords or uh, knives here, and uh, just folded the paper over from the tag here, and this is from Akikat. I have a plastic or acetate here, and this is from a Martha Stewart a shark uh, sticker, and the same on this side here. So this goes inside here, with a, and uh, this uh, is fastened on the top with a magnet, so it will stick in place. This sticks out here, and uh, now for the inside here. This is uh, the new uh, hanging lantern from Tim Holtz, and I really love it. And I stickled it up. No, here I took some distress stickles, I think. And uh, another branch here with a scarecrow, and uh, yeah, and uh, this is uh, fastened with a magnet on the top here, so so can be pulled out. So this holds some bones, and uh, maybe take out this. It's for the witches to eat. So I just made a pocket in this uh, here to uh, hold this acetate uh, locker, or <laughs> I'm not sure the right word. And uh, here are some more uh, types so from the paper line, and I just backed it. And one more here, and this is a glitter paper from. Um, uh, DCW, I think, all the glitter paper in this uh, album here uh, from there. So this stacks behind the skeleton here and this goes inside here. So then we can turn it around and show you the other side. And here's a bottle and the cat and uh, this uh, configuration box I showed in the previous video. So I will link to that below if you like to have a look, close-up look. And now for the other side here. So here is a skeleton watching the castle. And uh, he's really scary with a sword and uh, no one dares to enter. <laughs> So, then it opens up this way, and here I made a fold, I'm not sure it shows up, but I fold it down on the page here. So this peaks up when you open it, and it's a spider web that I glued together in the middle and on the sides. And um, here is a cutout from the paper line. I can maybe take this on f off first, so this is a, a bottle here. So, and this is also fastened in the head with a magnet, and this I can show you the back side also. So, and this can pull off and some uh, stickers here from Tim Holtz or Robbins. So, you can write something or just uh, 
put up a photo inside or anything. So and this flips then over on the heads. Like so. So it holds it. And uh, this is also fastened with uh, magnets. So here is a mirror. And uh, this uh, pulls up like so. So it's a place behind here also for some hidden messages or a photo or anything. So this pulls down like so. And you can place a photo behind here as well. And he holds a bottle here. So and also place here for some photos and here is another tag from the paper line and I just outlined them with a black paper. So put this uh, fasten here and uh, this goes behind this pumpkin here. And uh, here are some more hair bottles. And this uh, flips out like so. So and uh, here is the tag. And uh, this is also from the, the tags cut out from the paper line. And here is a border that I cut out from um, from one of the um, embossing folders uh, Linda sent me. And I also used some of the cats and uh, scarecrows and so. So this goes inside here. And there is also a pocket here. So see if I can pull it out here. Like so. Here you can write a his hidden message or place a photo. So we can take it back in place again. So and closes up with a magnet. So and uh, here's uh, some more cutouts uh, from the paper line and I give him some uh, glasses here and he has a hat and a moustache and uh, this can be pulled off so I can write something here do some fun with that and uh, yeah and here is a mirror again with uh, some uh, different photo mats you can pull them up and write something or just play some photos here so this is fastened with a brad so here is a spooky house and uh, one of acetate, I'm not sure it shows up. So, so this I just uh, cut out from acetate and painted around and give him some bling in the eyes. And a little tag behind here. Let's see if I can pull it out. So. And, uh, and one more, two more tags behind here. So. so there are actually two pockets. I layered them and cross over each other when I got it out from the paper line. And then now I try to pull this out here. So and then I can take out some of the middle parts here. Another tombstone here. So, and uh, here is another one it's with the uh, embossing folder. And here I do, did uh, some um, Inca gold and uh, some crackle paint that I just smeared uh, random over here. So, hope it shows up. And uh, this uh, mirror here. And uh, here was a. Uh, <laughs> Magnets used a lot of magnets here, so a lot of glitter. So I place a photo here, and I also have this uh, bat inside here. So and um, can put this in later. And some here's a uh, spook. So this is loose behind this cat, and it's uh, dark, so I'm not sure it shows up. And a pumpkin here with some glitter, and this is layered. And uh, here is uh, a frame from uh, Tim Holtz. 
And this is a flocked paper and that was from on another tag I also showed from Teresa Collins so that flocked paper. So and some more tombstones. Here I have a leftover from a middle part when I cut out uh, a middle part here. So I just used it as a tag. This opens like so. And like so on the back and here it says poison. And another embossing folder on this side here. And I also went over with uh, some crackle paint here. Just took it on my finger and around them went over. And some more stamping. And uh, yeah, then I think I showed what's in here. So this uh, stays open like so. so uh, and uh, now uh, the witches are starting to cook some uh, bones here. So uh, this is a side pocket, so this uh, pulls out. And so on the back. So here, this is from the paper line. And uh, this I just drew after this to get this shape on this side here. So, but she has a big heart here. That's a bit low down. <laughs> so, and uh, here she is uh, cooking. So, and here is a cloth uh, pin that I also got from Velma. So, thank you so much again, Velma. I had really fun with all this. It was a lot of work, and I <laughs> have been working on this for weeks. But I had uh, fu fun all, all the way. So, here is another tag. And uh, this uh, pulls up like so. So, we can write a recipe here. Like so on the back. So, and it, here it says uh, a bone soup. So this goes inside here. And here is another skeleton that I fussy cut out from uh, uh, one of uh, the embossing folders. And he has his heart on the right place. So we can pull this inside again. And on this side I use this uh, flocked paper again and I have uh, the spider cut off from the paper line okay, maybe. So here is how the tags uh, look inside. So I cut them to shape and I also did, did some stamping on the tags here. So I want to pull the, all the tags out. So maybe take it inside. So I can do it later <laughs> properly. <laughs> Another ghost here and uh, another leftover from the inside of the tomb die from Tim Holtz and a feather behind here. So, and, uh, and here is another a spooky house and here is uh, there are houses that uh, this castle is so big so there are uh, houses inside also. So inside here uh, the witches lives and uh, it's a really spooky house. It's a door here with some more spooky inside. So also a door here, so I'm going to place a picture here. And I also use some uh, orange uh, thread inside here. Another I made from acetate here. So goes inside this spider web. So all this glittered up here and the spider here and some more tombstones and uh, this is uh, from the paper line. So you can do some journaling inside here. So. And this is from the paper line. I glittered up and used glossy accent. And uh, that I forgot to show you on uh, this one, uh, this bat here. When it's so large I uh, took um, um, stickles uh, first and then I went over with uh, glossy accent show you like so. And uh, when you take glossy accents on large pieces they start curling up. So the way I did it I glued it on, on a uh, 12 by 12 uh, black paper and placed some heavy around and then I cut it off out after when it was uh, dried up. So and the same for this. So and, uh, another tag here and uh, tomb again here. You can place some pictures here. You can also place some pictures uh, inside here. So this 
goes back inside. Like so. A little tomb here as well. And this closes up with this spook here. So, and now for the last uh, page here. So, here's another witch is cooking. And uh, this is uh, a die I used, and uh, here are some more tags, and this I glittered up from the paper line. I also cut out some more tags here. So. And uh, it's a tag inside this uh, bowl, cooking bowl here, with uh, some bones. So this goes inside here. So now I can't see myself here. <laughs> I'll try like this. And this is also a die that I glittered up and a skeleton in the middle here. So. And here is another house that uh, flips out. So. And uh, yeah, here's. Uh, Peeking out in the window, the skeleton, and uh, some more tag is here. And a fence here, and a tree here, and uh, here it says rape. And uh, also, these uh, flowers that I forgot to show in the beginning of the video also got from my friend Velma. So, this uh, was uh, my album, and uh, I had so far uh, craving it, and uh, I'm so thankful, Velma, for all the goodies uh, you gave me, so I could uh, make this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching, everyone, and uh, if you have any questions, please look in the description box below. There you will find information how I answer questions. So, uh, take care, and have fun creating. And I also wish you all a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.